Hi students, welcome to the very session, guys. A very good afternoon, everyone. I'm Preeksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy, and I welcome you all to this very particular session, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all doing, guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to the very session, guys. I'm very well. Thank you so very much. I hope that each one of you is doing good, right? Hi, Tanisha. Hello, Sumit. Hi, Aditya. Hi, Varun. Hi, Abu. Hello, everyone. Hi, Ritika. Hi, guys. This is the class for grade 9 students. We are going to deal with the chapter, The Adventures of Toto. And I'm sure that everybody is aware of this very particular chapter because this is really interesting. Right. Hi, Deepa. Hi, everyone. I'm very, very well. Thank you, Abu. Thank you so much. I hope that you're safe too, right? Hi guys, hi Kumkum, welcome to the very session. Hi Shant, hi Asta, hi Rudram, hello Harshita, hi Balachandra, hi Anushka, hi and hello guys, hi and hello to everyone. I'm sorry if I'm missing out somebody's name, but hi and hello to each one of you. I hope that you guys are doing amazingly and enjoying your days, okay? And they, you people are safe as well. So guys, let me give a very brief introduction about myself. I'm Preksha Sharma, your English educator. I'm sure you guys know it. And I've done MA in English from Delhi University, guys. And for the last few years, I've been guiding a lot of students to become amazing in their subject English so that they can score good marks in their academics as well as they learn how to speak fluently and nicely and smoothly. Okay, so I hope I'm going to help each one of you with this. So students, now moving ahead, you know that we provide 10% discount on an academy plus and you guys need to think about yourself right now because you need to understand that what is right and what is wrong. So you have to go for right sort of subscription, guys. You will get, uh, get flat 10% off, right everyone? Hi everyone, hello Murti. Yeah, it's Murti. Yeah, hi, hello. Okay, you're Dia, fine. Hi Ashutosh, welcome to the very session guys. Hi everyone, we are doing good and I hope, I mean I am doing good and I hope that everyone is doing good, right? Hi Umang, hello guys, come on guys, share the link with all your friends right away because we are going to have the explanation of the chapter, The Adventures of Toto, which is really an adventurous sort of chapter. Right guys, hi Jung, hi Ishita, hi Stuti, hi Muskan, hello everyone. Hi Sanjana. Hi, gangster boy. Hello. Okay, guys. So, you know that we have uh, got this telegram channel that is livedaily.me slash chat. Okay. And you have to join your very group, which is an academy class 9 and 10. Here, you will find the information about all the updated sessions which are being planned for all our dear students. And you will get the updates from all the educators. So, make sure that you join this very particular group. And guys, you know, we have this ask a doubt feature. This is really an amazing feature because you can ask all your doubts whatever doubts you guys are coming across we are sitting here for all of you to solve them so make sure that you are loading us with a lot of doubts and you are coming out with good practices for yourself correct everyone hi jung bahadur patel i'm very well thank you so much i hope you are good too good afternoon mathematics solution hi jennifer hi shan hello creative girl hi shubham hi and hello guys so guys how what uh, like what exactly this ask a doubt feature is see you can ask us unlimited doubts that means infinite doubts whatever doubts you guys are coming across and you can ask anytime irrespective of day night or noon you can ask us okay and you will get high quality video solutions in both the languages that is in english as well as hindi and you will receive exact matches for questions as well i mean the exact solution would be provided to each one of you and you will obtain instant an accurate solution this is very very important and right you guys need very instant solution so that your doubt just get clear as soon as possible so make sure you are using this very particular feature and you will get assistance with your homework as well so guys just download the app an academy app if you do not have this app in your phone right now just go for it download it because you can use this feature at any time okay everyone and yeah hi hi sanjana hello welcome to the very session i welcome you here ashutosh i take live uh, sessions uh, on uh, i'm uh, basically like for grade 9 students on mondays uh, wednesday and fridays and it will take place at two o'clock okay everyone and hi nirmala hello everyone Okay, so now students, what does ask a doubt? I mean, basically, how are you going to ask us a doubt? See, step one is click on ask a doubt feature. 
okay in the app itself then step two is select or take a picture or choose from gallery i mean you must have clicked the picture for your particular doubt right then step three is just click or select a picture of your very question the question you are doubtful about and then step four is crop it to highlight just one specific question and step five is choose the subject that the question falls under if it's math or science you have to choose the subject correctly and step six is just sit very tight okay we'll be providing you the solution as soon as possible Hi Tanisha, I'm very well, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, all right, people. So how are you going to do it? I mean, what are the do's and don'ts? You know that do's and don'ts they are always required in your life. Okay, whenever you want to achieve any aim or when there is something specified in your mind, so there are always do's and don't uh, don'ts. Okay. First one, guys, post one, one doubt at once, okay? Do not go from multiple doubts in a single image because that is really chaotic and nobody needs chaos in these pandemic times now, okay? And post clear, legible images, guys, like images which are very, very clear and exact and capture all the sub-options of an MCQ. And if you think that, I mean, basically, if you see that if a question has got any sub-part, make sure that you are posting them separately and not as a part of the same question so that no confusion is there, Okay? And post printed text directly from a book or soft copy and post doubts using an academy app only. All right. Just download the app, guys. And do not post handwritten questions, please. Do not post any blurred image or any incomplete question. All right. That would just be completely a waste. And now, guys, an academy subscription features. I'm sure, guys, that you are like very well aware of it. And you know that there are a lot many features which are very, very, very good actually for all of you. Correct. So you get to learn live from the comfort of your home, guys. Unlimited access to all the courses. Hi, Prince. I'm very well. Thank you so much. Hi, Kritika. Very good afternoon. All right. And students, top educators of India would be there on just one single platform. All the highly qualified teachers would be teaching you. And regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions would be there. Students, this is very, very important. Okay, your doubts, they must be clear. And you must get into the practice of writing. And when it comes to English, let me be very, very frank with all of you. Practice is a need. Okay, I will not say must. It is actually a need. It is a need. Why? Because students, you write in a flow when you're writing answers in your paper but that must be taken care of in terms of your spellings your vocabulary your sentence structure your sentence formation make sure that you're practicing well and an academy would definitely be helping you all okay everyone and then exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus would be there mentorship and guidance you guys would be getting that study material pdf would be given to you and who will actually be creating that pdf the best qualified teacher highly qualified teacher and practice test practice makes a man perfect this is very much needed guys and life test series would be there in batch courses so students like there are daily practice sessions you will find weekly mock test series also and life quizzes and daily mcq and subjective test series make sure you guys are going for the best okay i'm very well dave kataria i'm very well thank you so much all right okay divisha so students what you have to do is see you will have to choose the right sort of plan for yourself which suits you the best okay for example if you guys go for 36 months and you're planning for your next upcoming uh i mean uh, your next basically academic session then you can go for this plan okay or you can go for 48 months the actual cost would be 32,000 and 40,000 respectively but if you're using my code psh10 you will get 10 percent flat discount okay and the cost would come to 28,800 800 for 36 months and 36,000 for your 48 months so if you guys are going to calculate it on monthly basis you will find that for 36 months it is only 800 rupees per month and for 48 months it is what 750 rupees per month so this is going to be very very exciting all of you because the thing is that you will get to know a lot okay this is not going to be too expensive all you need to do is you need to plan right now because this is the right time there is no need to like rush at the very end of your academic session okay just start planning right from now okay everyone yes ayush yes this happens for all the other subjects there are other educators who come live daily on youtube for all of you hi nisha and students, we have extended this academic year offer for all of you till 16th May. So that means if you're in the list of 4,000 subscribers and let's say you have chosen for 36 months subscription, you will get 5 months extra for CBSE subscription. And you will, along with it, you will get free coder subscription as well for lifetime. But if you guys are in the list of first 500 subscribers, then you will get free Creative Corner subscription as well. 
for lifetime so that means free cbse subscription plus creative corner subscription and younger young coder subscription would definitely be there for all of you okay everyone so this is just going to be super amazing guys make sure that you're selecting the right one and then iconic subscription guys personal mentor would be there personalized attention would be there okay for example the creative girl is facing some problem in any of the question and she wants personalized attention one on one interaction with me then definitely i'll be there for her okay and then live doubt solving sessions would be there weekly reports we will share weekly reports with all of you to tell you how well you are doing with it then parent connect thing would also be there Study planner would be there and all benefits of an academy subscription would also be a part of your iconic one. Again, what you have to do is you have to select the best plan for yourself. Okay, guys, see if you go for 48 months, right? Like keeping in mind your further, your next upcoming and your academic sessions, basically. The cost is 83,000, but keeping my code in your mind, that is by using my code PSH10, you will get 10% flat discount and the cost would be 74,700. Okay, and when you're going to calculate it on monthly basis, you will see this is just 1,556. So you'll be getting a lot, guys. Just plan accordingly, okay? 10% off is there on An Academy Plus and Iconic subscription. The code is your PSH10. So guys, download the An Academy app right away. Get it on Google Play or on the App Store. Try all of these features for free. Use the code PSH10 and let's crack it. Follow me on An Academy app, guys, if you want to have good updates. Okay, guys. So now we are going to start with the chapter, which is the Adventures of Toto. It has been written by Ruskin Bond. Right, guys. So I'm sorry, Kanika dear. I'm not ignoring you. Not at all. This is not happening. Okay. So guys, tell me, what are you all aware of this very particular chapter? What do you know? What is your personal understanding of this chapter? What is the chapter all about? We see it says the adventures of Toto. Who is Toto if you know and why is it said the adventures of Toto? Come on guys, tell me. Why is it the case? Why is it happening? Come on, tell me. Why is it happening? Hi, Asha. Hello. No, Sunita, there is no menti as of now. Come on, guys, tell me. I am waiting for your answer. What is it about? Who is Toto here? Okay, Yash is giving me a simple kind of a thing. Is it monkey? Right? No, no, there is no menti, Sunita. No rose. Toto is not tortoise. Okay, so, okay, fine, guys. I'm moving ahead with the explanation of the chapter so that you guys would understand that what exactly we are going to talk about. See, the chapter is about a monkey, okay? It's a naughty monkey, all right? And it has been said the adventures because he is going to undertake a lot of naughty activities. So, it appears to be the adventurous activities because they are all quite dangerous and something like very difficult sort of, like difficult on the part of the narrator and the grandfather okay so you will come to know about this just keep on listening to me very very carefully the, 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 uh, like all the activities that are being undertaken by monkey they are being referred as the adventures okay everyone this is very clear yes is it clear to everyone toto is a baby monkey that's right okay you have book hi everyone hi all right students now listen to me very very carefully okay pay attention to each and everything i'm going uh, to explain word by word to each one of you see the chapter begins with this very particular thing that grandfather bought toto from a tonga driver for the sum of five rupees so we see there is this grandfather in this chapter there is a baby monkey there is a narrator and we have wife or grandfather as well okay so guys what is happening here is that grandfather he bought toto toto is who toto is a monkey all right he bought it from a tonga driver so what is a tonga guys tonga is a vehicle all right which is basically on four wheels and this is usually used in the rural parts of the different states or countries okay so now we see that uh, we see that uh, grandfather the person as in the narrator's grandfather has purchased a baby monkey for the sum of five rupees basically mean just for the amount of five rupees okay and the tonga driver students make sure when you are writing the answer in your examination and you are using the term tonga driver tonga driver should be written this way with this in between that is this hyphen should be in between okay you are not supposed to mess it out all right everyone making sense to each one of you just keep this in your mind all right making sense yes or no come on yes or no not that difficult to understand 
right and students like he used to keep the little red monkey see used to has been used here okay used to basically mean it is showing uh, like it is actually telling and showing this to us that it used to as in that it used to take place it was a past activity all right so the tonga driver he used to keep the little red monkey remember the name of the uh, sorry the color of the monkey it's a little monkey okay you have to keep this in your mind the little red monkey the hair has been used the article has been used here in order to specify that monkey is not a big monkey instead it's a little monkey and we are specifying and being particular here that is why the has been used here so the little red monkey tied to a feeding trough so what is feeding trough guys it's a large container for feeding animals so we see that there is a little red monkey okay and he has basically been tied to a feeding trough that is a large container which is used for feeding animals so he is completely in uh, relation as in in bond with that very particular feeding trough that is the container okay so that he would not run away okay and the monkey looked out looked so out of place there okay so what does it mean that the monkey he was not looking good there okay why he was not looking good to grandfather because grandfather was a lover of animal all right for him it was not the right place of monkey and that is why grandfather decided he would add the little fellow to his private zoo so who is little fellow these questions can come in your examination pay attention to whatever i am telling you all little fellow is the little red baby monkey okay remember these things this can come in your examination because the examination is going to be your objective type extract would definitely be coming in your examination you know in your part a okay everyone so that is why you have to keep this in your mind uh gelawat i am not really using very difficult language i really urge you to please try to understand me okay just try to listen what i am saying you will understand it okay it's not that difficult okay guys just try to understand this because the language is very important to be understood guys and you guys are in the very right grade right now to start listening okay to improve your skills all right everyone making sense to each one of you so is it making sense to each one of you yes or no are you all understanding yes or no guys yes or no okay so now we are moving ahead guys guys the language is very easy i'm using just simple english come on try and understand what is the problem see there is a person who is like who is grandfather all right and there is another person narrator who is who is just telling us the story then there is a monkey okay then there is a tonga driver who is the tonga driver who is actually riding a vehicle with four wheels and the horses are attached to that very particular vehicle okay and then what do we see that grandfather he saw that there was a tonga driver he had a very small baby monkey and he was red in color okay and now he was tied as in that there was a rope basically which was like connecting the feeding trough that is the container in which the food was given for monkey to the monkey okay it was connected to the monkey so that he would not run away because the very character of monkey is that monkeys they are very very naughty okay they cannot just sit very easily on one place they keep on hopping from one place to another and since he was just a very small monkey so it was very important to keep him tied all right and now grandfather was there he saw that monkey was actually tied to a container and he didn't like it because he was a lover of animals and he had some animals at his home so that is why he wanted to make monkey a part of his small zoo and now he purchased like looking at the monkey he liked the monkey he decided to purchase the monkey okay and he purchased the monkey in just 5 rupees clear very easy clear everyone making sense to everybody yes guys making sense yes okay all right uh, okay 
so now students this is the description of monkey and students this is very very important when it will be asked in your examination make sure that you guys are not at all missing any of the physical characteristics of monkey because this can come in your examination for sure in two or three marks all right everyone aman as of today the story is going to be this only all right all right everyone so we see that this is the very adject uh, adjective that has been used that is toto was a pretty monkey okay his bright eyes he had bright eyes which were very shiny okay they were sparkly that is they were shining brightly with mischief beneath so see the description mischief as in that he had very playful and uh, like playful misbehavior basically okay he was very much playful in his nature and beneath as in at a lower level or uh, or layer so it is saying that the monkey he has very shiny eyes but he was very much naughty in nature and deep set eyebrows so basically just look at the thing that like beneath his deep set eyebrows there was this naughtiness that was visible in his eyes and his teeth they were pearly white so this is a very beautiful uh, reference that has been made here see his teeth they have been compared with pearl okay because pearl is pure white so his teeth they are also being referred to as pure white okay everyone so he were like uh, they were being often displayed in a smile that frightened the life out of ed, uh, elderly anglo indian people so student here the thing is that it is saying that uh, like they were so bright okay whenever he used to smile it was a very funny scene for anglo indian ladies anglo indian as in the ladies who belong to britain as well as india okay so it was such a frightening scene but his hands looked dried up as though they had been pickled in the sun for many years so pickled in the sun for many years mean that they had been dried up in the sun for many years like when we put something out in the very sunlight okay it dries up okay basically it dries up right everyone making sense so it was like that his hands they were looking as if they were very very dried up all right as if they were being squeezed okay and yet his fingers were very quick and wicked so just see his fingers have been described as wicked why wicked because he was very very naughty okay like he was now you will see that he will actually undertake a lot of activities which would show that he was too naughty and his tail while adding to his good looks so you see why good looks have been mentioned here because like he had a tail okay and according to grandfather what is the actual nature i mean what is the function of tail grandfather believed a tail would add to anyone's good looks so grandfather had this thinking that the very tail of monkey makes him look very good and smart okay this was the view of grandfather all right and it also served as a third hand so student this can come in your examination okay that what actually serves as a third hand for a monkey the answer is the tail okay make sure you are aware of all the details very very correctly for your examination all right everyone making sense to each one of you yes mischievous mean that someone who is very very naughty mischief is naughtiness okay naughty activities all right this is the thing so now we see he could use it to hang from a branch and it was capable of scooping up any delicacy that might be out of reach of his hands so he uh, like here basically the thing is like he could use it for example what is the function of the tail for a monkey like he can actually take anything that he actually wants uh, to eat or to consume so here it is being described that he can like the very tail it it actually serves as a third hand why because he can hang from a branch all right like he can actually swing and he can enjoy his swings by hanging himself from a branch and it was capable so the tail also was capable and had the ability of scooping up scooping up basically mean to pick up and move something using scoop posture so that means that it just used to come like this okay like he can actually use his tail to scoop out anything to pick up anything or to move anything from one place to another and any delicacy basically so delicacy here refers to something pleasing to eat that is considered rare or luxurious so that is like if he wanted to eat something he can directly take it and that might be out of his uh, like out of his reach so for example if something is not really in his reach then he can take it all right 
and grandmother guys she always first when grandfather bought some home new bird or animal so see grandfather he was in love with animals but that was not really the case with grandmother that is the wife of grandfather okay why because she used to fuss fuss is that is showing unnecessary or excessive concern about something so she didn't used to like it with when grandfather used to bring a lot of animals for his zoo so they decided something and what did first basically mean to show unnecessary or excessive concern about something akriti all right everyone making sense to each one of you yes making sense guys are you all understanding this yes or no come on it's not that difficult at all very easy and very interesting you need to remember everything that is there in your chapter okay making sense wicked hair is referring to like see hair like i had written hair hair it is like in the very context it was naughty all right this is naughty and mischief is your playful misbehavior that you are very much playful in nature that is you like being naughty while you are playful okay so that is a misbehavior okay everyone i hope that's clear the meaning is clear now right okay now moving ahead again so we decided sorry they decided basically i mean since they had to keep the uh, very monkey toto away from grandmother so they decided to keep toto's like presence as a secret it was not being told to grandmother that they had actually brought one another animal which is a little red sorry which is the little red monkey that is toto okay so she was not in a particularly i mean that was not the right moment so they waited for the moment when she would be in a good mood okay so now the next thing i see grandfather and i i is the narrator put him away him here is toto in a little closet closet is guys a tall cupboard or wardrobe with a door okay there is a door with a wardrobe okay so they decided that they are going to put him in a little make sure you are writing this in your examination when you are writing the answer the correct thing is little okay little closet which was opening into his bedroom wall and he was tied there securely securely here means safely okay or so we thought so like he basically i mean uh, here so we thought is basically like the narrator is saying that they thought that they have tied him securely and he would not do anything he would be remaining himself there in a very safe position that is what they thought but the thing is they they had actually tied him to a peg fastened into the wall that is peg is guys a short pin or bolt which is typically tapered at one end that is used for securing so the thing is they tied the very monkey okay with a pen or you can say a kind of a rope into the very wall so that he remain there only and do not come out okay but what happened a few hours later when grandfather and i came back so they came back i mean they went again to release toto to release monkey from there because he was staying there for quite few hours now and they found that the walls which were already covered with some ornamental ornamental as in decorative and beautiful wallpapers which was being chosen by grandfather so the entire wallpaper was now naked what is naked guys that there was no wallpaper now all right he had completely torn the paper all right and they could only see brick and the plaster okay everyone that's very clear to everybody right closet is a tall cupboard guys it's a tall cupboard wherein you put your clothes or anything that you want to keep okay everyone making sense to each one of you yes yes guys making sense to each one of you so there was this closet there was this wardrobe and the monkey he was there he was being fastened i mean that he was he, he was being tied there all right with the very wall and when grandfather and editor came back again they saw that everything was in shreds like the very wallpaper which was there on the very wall it was very very beautiful earlier but now there was no wallpaper because it was being torn by the monkey okay and also the peg in the wall that is the very pin in the wall had been wrenched from its socket so that basically means wrenched as in that it was pulled or twisted suddenly and violently because uh, the monkey like he's very very naughty okay so it was now being pulled okay pulled away from its socket from the socket as in from where it was being tied all right everyone making sense to each one of you right 
so we see that my school blazer i mean the narrator school blazer which had been hanging there it was also in shreds shreds as in that it was completely torn okay and i wondered what grandmother would say so now they were worried that what is grandmother going to say if she would come to know about it but grandfather didn't worry he seemed pleased with toto's performance but grandfather he was not worried at all like he was feeling very nice about whatever was being done by the monkey okay everyone making sense so now we see that he is clever this is what he said make sure you are writing this very particular statement in your examination when you are mentioning it said grandfather given time i'm sure he could have tied the torn pieces of your blazer into a rope and made his escape from the window so guys this is really funny see grandfather is really a lover of animals he was very pleased with whatever was being done by monkey i mean he had completely torn the wallpapers of the closet and he had completely torn the blazer of poet uh, sorry of the very narrator also okay and now he is saying like all these activities that he had done basically these two things they are being referred to as being clever activities by monkey okay like he calls him clever also he says that if they would have been a bit late then monkey he would have completely made a rope by using all those shredded blazer parts and he would have gone out of the window he would have escaped from there if they were a bit more late okay so escaping is breaking free from control that is he would have definitely moved out of the closet and he would have escaped okay so this was really a different thing so guys his presence in the house was still a secret it was not being told to grandmother and toto was now transferred to a bigger cage and big cage was in the servants quarters so now he was being transferred to a big sort of a uh, place where the other animals they were there and who all were they a tortoise remember the names correctly okay a pair of rabbits a tame squirrel was there okay and for a while my pet goat tame is domesticated as in like a, a like a squirrel which was actually a part of their home only all right and there was for some time a pet goat as well okay but the monkey wouldn't allow his companions to sleep at night now monkey he was very very naughty guys he was not letting these animals to sleep at night so what did grandfather did i mean that the very next day he had to leave for dehradun okay because he wanted to collect his pension in saharanpur so remember this name correctly that he went to saharanpur like he went to dehradun that is okay but he wanted to collect his very pension in saharanpur don't write like this in your examination that he wanted to collect his pension from dehradun no you have to be very very specific that it was saharanpur okay and he decided to take him along he decided that he would take monkey along because he was kept as a secret at home and they wouldn't want grandmother to come to know about it all right now students what happened is unfortunately i couldn't accompany grandfather on that trip so now he is saying that narrator he just couldn't go what is unfortunately that is unluckily he couldn't go with the grandfather okay on the very trip that is to saharanpur but whatever happened like at the very trip or during the very course of the trip it was being told to him afterwards afterwards as in later okay now students there was a big black canvas kit bag you have to remember this thing very clearly this was a big bag okay it was a big jute bag which was provided for toto okay he was kept in that bag all right and how was he kept that there were certain straws at the very bottom of that very bag okay first there the, the straws were being kept then his new abode i mean then he was kept so that was his new abode abode is a home all right so he was kept in that big bag and when the bag was closed there was no escape so there was no point that he could have escaped at all from that bag Okay, so Toto couldn't get his hands through the opening, and the canvas was too strong for him to bite his way through. So that very bag, it was like the jute. It was so so strong that actually, uh, the very little monkey, like he he was actually a little monkey. So he couldn't bite the bag. Okay, he couldn't just tear the bag, and he was kept inside the bag only. And now grandfather was taking him along to the very uh, place that is Saharanpur. so we see that he was doing a lot of efforts you know that not uh, the very monkey he was really very very naughty okay he was doing a lot of efforts to come out okay but what happened is that he was not able to come out instead 
इट हैज द इफेक्ट ऑफ मेकिंग द बैग रोल अबाउट ऑन द फ्लोर और ओकेजनली जम्प इन टू द इयर एंड एग्जीबिशन दैट अट्रैक्टेड अ क्यूरियस क्राउड ऑफ ऑन लुकर्स ऑन द देहरादून रेलवे प्लेटफॉर्म so what was happening okay he was trying to move out and what was happening that he couldn't move out but the thing is that the bag it was now rolling on the floor and it was really very strange for the people who were there at the dehradun platform okay railway platform because it was a strange thing that was happening a bag a non living thing was moving on its own on the very floor so that was really very strange for the people and see onlookers are the people who are basically non participating observer as in they are only observing they are not doing anything about it those are onlookers and occasionally as in by occasionally because he was trying like after few minutes like he tried once and then after few minutes he was again trying so it was happening occasionally and not regularly okay everyone and an exhibition see like now it was jumping in the air and then rolling on the floor so it was very very strange and it was very much interesting also for the people because something unusual was happening now like something very strange was happening and there was an exhibition so now exhibition why a display or demonstration of a skill so now there was this exhibition what is exhibition guys that you go and you look at the very things okay so now that very particular activity that was happening it was becoming a kind of exhibition for all the people all right curious crowd why curious guys because they were eager to know they wanted to know that what is actually happening why is it moving on its own all right so this was a very strange thing so toto remain in the bag as far as saharanpur all right but while grandfather was producing his ticket at the railway turnstile what is turnstile guys it's a mechanical gate which is consisting of revolving horizontal arms fixed to a vertical post okay so basically turnstile is that which allows only one person at a time to pass through and here it basically mean that there was only one pass that the railway could actually turn from so at that very particular place i mean uh, sorry uh, i said that the mm, train could run from but here the thing is there just one mechanical gate from where a person can move from so when he was moving from there and the checking was taking place toto suddenly ka like poked out his head out of the bag so what happened guys like it was completely a strange thing now toto he was coming out of the bag and people they were really very shocked that what exactly it is happening all right everyone so what happened is that he gave the ticket collector a wide grin what is wide grin that is smile broadly and you know that he had pearl teeth so this is really very very strange and funny okay the poor man was taken aback see this is a phrase which basically mean to surprise or shock so the ticket collector he was very shocked with the very great presence of mine and much to grandfather's annoyance now grandfather was annoyed guys and what does the ticket collector say sir you have a dog you'll have to pay for it okay now he was being asked to pay for that in when did grandfather take toto out of the bag in when did he try to prove that a monkey did not qualify a dog or even as a quadruped so now we see that grandfather he was trying his level best to prove that he was not a four legged animal instead he was just a monkey but he was not understanding this and all his efforts were completely way i mean completely stupid okay it was completely not at all acceptable by the ticket collector okay everyone so we are going to continue the rest of the chapter in our next class okay and that will be taking place on wednesday i hope you all understood the session kindly like it guys share it with your friends subscribe the channel i'll see you all soon take care and